I'm here with Jack. This is Jack. He's a very handsome fella. He's an emotional support animal for his guardian, but he doesn't always like to come when he's outside in the yard. And he's got a tremendous backyard, so I don't blame him. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can condition your dog to go to a specific place when it hears a sound. Now, I'm gonna be using a, be uh, a bowl, a metal bowl that I'm gonna hit with a spoon, but you can use any sound that you want. Now, what I recommend the guardian do is look for one of those old timey um, chuck wagon triangles so that she can actually just go open the door and ding, 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 ding. And this is gonna cause Jack to run ups and come inside to go to a specific spot and get the treat. Now we're gonna use a little conditioning uh, for this process. I'm gonna be using Charlie Bears here. And you see uh, Jack really loves the Charlie Bears. So what I'm gonna do is I first wanna get him conditioned going to the spot that I want, which is right there, which is just right, out, right inside the, the doorway. So I'm using Charlie Bears because they have a coat, so they make a little sound, you're gonna see. So he goes over there and gets the treat. Now at this stage, all I wanna do is just go there. We're not even making the sound. Comes back here, he hears the sound of that and he goes over there. This is not the sound we're gonna be using because he won't hear that sound outside, but right now it's working. So he's, what we're doing is conditioning him. If he goes to that spot, he gets a reward. I'm not calling him over here, I'm letting him linger. When he comes over here on his own, toss another treat. Now I'm gonna start doing this with the sound. We're gonna be using this bell or this bowl. So what I'm going to do is you want the, you want the action, uh, yep, let's sit, let's yeah. sit, sit. We want the action to come after the stimulus, or, or excuse me, the, uh, the cue. In this case, the cue is going to be the sound. So what I want to do is, I'm first, I'm just going to throw the treat over there. He goes over right before he licks it up. over here so you want the sound to happen within two seconds of him getting that treat now right now he's coming from in the house there otherwise he's gonna be doing this from outside and I'm gonna show you how to do that here in a second as well so right before he's gonna lick up the treat you're gonna hit the hit, uh, hit the bowl wait for him to come back over He's like, but the treats that I really want are on the table. Those are the chicken liver treats. He's a smart boy. Come here, buddy. So it's really simple. Now, when you want to do this, I'd like you to do this for about, uh, the Guardian to do this about with about 15 treats, uh, maybe three times, in a, uh, uh, three times a day minimum, uh, every day for a week. Now, when we do this, dogs don't generalize. So if I only have him going from here to there, he's only going to be able to do that later on. So now I'm going to show you the next stage. I'm gonna basically come over here. Now, Jack has uh, a, he has a dog door out here. And although you can't see me on camera, I'm gonna open the door, throw a treat out there. And not really, I'm only throwing the treat outside just to you know, go outside. Jack. Now, he didn't come all the way in there, so I'm gonna throw it a little bit further away this time. Jack. Jack. Now I'm not saying anything when he goes outside because that's not something I want to cue. I only want to cue of him coming inside. So now I drop another one. Get it, Jack. So the idea is, let me close the door because it's winter time. So basically what we're trying to do is just create a cue. So the sound of the bell ringing does not mean to hump me. Yes, let's go over here. There you go. So the sound of the bell means that I go at that spot right there, there's gonna be a treat waiting for me. So what I'd like the guardian to do at first, the first stage is to practice this in the house. So have, just throw a treat out there. Jack goes in the living room or the dining room. You throw a treat over there, he hears it, and you're standing here with your deal. There we go, look at that. Now there, that's the next stage. I'm gonna talk about that in a sec. So basically what I want you to do is with grab about 15, and Charlie Bears would be great treats for this because it makes a sound on, this, on the floor. So throw a treat over there. He goes over there. When he's out of the room, you're gonna uh, show him that you have a treat. You're gonna throw it over there. And then you're gonna ding right before he licks it up. And then you're gonna throw the treat out there. So you wanna do this about 15 treats. So it's really simple. And after a while, he's just gonna run from one place to the next because if I do that, that means I'm gonna get a treat. So then the next stage would be to open your door to your, uh, to your sunroom. Let him go outside, 
then drop the treat right in here. Make sure you drop it far enough away so he has to come all the way in the door. Then, uh, so you drop the treat and you have your dinger ready to go. And as soon as he comes in, right before he licks up the treat, you ding the bowl and then he licks up the treat. And do that one 15 times, three times a day. So the first, maybe first day or two, I'd like you to have you going from this direction only, from the uh, dining room to here. Uh, that would be tomorrow. The next day, you're gonna have him go from, uh, start off this in the morning. So you're running from the dining room to here for 15 treats, then feed him his, his breakfast. Then a little bit later in the day, you're gonna open that door, let him go outside. Now, if he goes out through the dog door, let him go and do his thing. We're not gonna worry about calling him at first. We just wanna practice an easy version. Then when he's in that room, drop a treat here, he runs in, ding right before he gets it. And keep repeating this. Now, this second day is when we're gonna actually make the transition. We're actually gonna ask the dog to come in here. And if he comes in, then, we'll, uh, then we're gonna give him that treat. But we're gonna ding first. So we're gonna ding and then pat the floor or ding and drop the treat. And in this case, probably dropping the treat is gonna be the easiest way for him to do it. So after enough practice, that ding will mean that he's gonna go there. So the first day we do it in from the lit dining room to the kitchen. Second room we do from the sunroom to the kitchen. Third day we're gonna do when he's outside. Now, occasionally the guardian here has helpers. So it'd be great if you could um, have one of the helpers when he's outside and doing his business. When he's about to come, when he comes up the steps and comes all the way up here, you're sitting here with the dinger, you open the door and you drop a treat down and ding. So now we're conditioning him to come from all the way outside in the yard to here. Now we're doing this without him being in the yard at first. Now the third day or the fourth day, he's out in the yard and we can start after about the fourth or fifth day, depending on how, often, how much you practice, you should be able to hit the ding and then he's gonna run up the stairs and come in here to get the treat. Now, uh, when you're going, when he's doing it from outside, I would switch over to those high value uh, uh, chicken liver treats that I left. Those are gonna be higher value for him. They're gonna make him more interested in wanting to come in and do that. So this is gonna be a simple exercise. It doesn't take a lot of, uh, a lot of effort. It takes a lot of repetition. So I want you doing it with 15 treats three times a day. So the first day is from here to there. Second day is from outside to there. Third day is when he's gonna be out in the yard. Now, ideally, we'd like to have maybe your helper just wait right outside your door. Um, so let me, see, let me think. When you go outside, uh, so you're just really on your deck. So he's going in and out the dog door and then coming back here. The next step would be have him maybe on the stairs and then coming up the stairs, coming in the dog door and coming here. And each time he gets it, ding, you're just, when you're practicing, we're dinging it right before he licks up the treat. After about five days of this, you should be able to hit ding, then he goes there. Now I'd like you when you first start doing this on day five, or approximately, ding, if he goes there, the first time he does it, grab five pieces of those chicken liver treats and go give him five treats in a row. This is called a jackpot. We want him to let him know, oh my God, you did it. So now we're using the bell to make him go there. At first we're throwing the treats there to kind of lure him to go there. And then we're associating the bell right before he licks up the treat. But the transition where we want to get to is where we ring the bell, he goes there and gets the reward. And we get to that point, then if he's out in the yard, the guardian can open the door, ding, ding, you know, ding it. I would probably just do the same ding. So if you want to do it outside, go ding, 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 every time he's about to ling up, lick up the bowl. But I think one time would be fine for now. But eventually you go and open the door and say, Jack, and go ding, and he's going to come a running because he knows if he comes and runs in there, he's going to get a treat. Jack, come here, buddy. Sit. Yes. I guess your word is good. Well, this is my buddy Jack, and this is how you can condition a dog to come or go to a specific place with, when they hear a specific sound.